Rusty Sapsel, it has been a while since you've been around one of the Southeast Gasser races with the famed Bad Banana, but as we were talking the other day, the Bad Banana got a little bit of a different power plant in it these days. Yeah, yes, we do. We got a, uh, we're trying to develop a new class for uh, Southeast Gasser Association. Uh, we're going to call it D-Gas. Uh, it's just a little bit different than what we did before. I mean, it's still heads up first to the finish line. You know, 1967 era vehicles, but one difference is that instead of the cubic inch to weight se separation that we did from class to class, we're going to do one engine. Everybody's running the same exact spec engine and one weight. So it'll really truly be a driver's class. And you guys are working with, I think, what is it? Scoggin Dickey Parts Center in Lubbock, Texas. Yeah, they, they, uh, they're fans. Um, they've been following the Southeast Gaster for a couple of years. And, um, when I talked to them, uh, they wanted to get involved. And, uh, uh, so we started getting, working together to come up with this program with this, with this, with this particular engine to make it, you know, we want the sound and, you know, the power and, and bit reliability and all that type of thing. So, uh, that's what we've done. From the looks of that run, it's got the power. I mean, wheels up as the old bad banana always had, and that certainly provides the excitement. But I, for one, I like the theory of what you're proving there because that pits racer against racer and not necessarily pocketbook against pocketbook. Again, Scoggins Dickey, they're like a GM performance parts dealer. You're working with them. The plan is, the theory I'll say, is for them to supply the exact same motor, dyno proven, right. to every customer. That customer can put it in any car he wants to, as long as it's 67 or older and weighs X amount of pounds. Right. 3,250 pounds is where we're starting right now. So, yep. Again, Bad Banana never fails to excite me, so I look forward to the whole class. Well, one more thing is, uh, since this is the only car in existence right now, we only have one, that's why I couldn't race anybody, but we just announced this a couple weeks ago. Um, I've put up, me and the Bad Banana are going to challenge anybody on the, in the world if they can put together a degas legal car with a degas legal motor, a degas legal weight, and race me and the Bad Banana heads up, two best two out of three, and can beat me in the car, We I will pay them $1,000 cash. That is quite the challenge. You know, that even tempts old Mitch Stott, as you were saying a minute ago. So now, but there is one other twist to that. I think you guys also have a charity that this money will go to if nobody collects on it. Well, right. So I'm not going to do that for free. So if somebody wants a 1000 bucks, they're going to have to put up a 100 of their own money. If I beat them, I get their 100 And again, at the end of the year, if nobody takes my money and if I get any money from anybody else that, uh, that tried to beat me, uh, all that money will go to a charity. We haven't decided yet, but we're going to pick a... Uh, a good charity to donate all of it to at the end of the year.